I didn't even know it was a job until now. I don't like accounting. I just don't understand why they won't give me more money. Is there anything to like about accountants? Seems kind of boring to me. Really? If what's the worst thing you can think of being, it's an accountant. We're, the, we're just like anybody else. I went to the snurt run. You know what the snurt run is? I think accountants in real life are kind of boring, but I do have four friends that are studying to be accountants right now, and they are crazy. They're so much fun. All right. Snurt is a combination of snow and dirt. Snurt. I respect them, but I don't really know what they do. Well, you know, if the, uh, the purpose of an accountant is to essentially count. I guess I just don't understand why there's a major for it. I mean, we all we all know how to count, I hope. They look at how much money an organization or a person has and kind of just organizes it for them and deals with it in general. Accounting must honestly suck. I don't know anyone who does accounting, but I feel so bad for them because all you have to do is count numbers all day. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know the typical thing is they refer to accountants as bean counters or whatever, and they just think it's boring, boring work, I guess. But I mean, for us, we like numbers. We're the kind of people who sit down and do Sudokus for fun and things like that. And I don't know, if you get into it and you really understand the industry and you're not just someone who's like an English major or something, they're not taking accounting classes, so they don't understand what it's about and they don't know the social aspect and they just think you're sit behind a desk and cram numbers all day and flip papers, whatever. But that's not what it's about. So what I like to do is be able to um, work with a, a small business person to take what they're doing, the, the financial aspect of it, and translate it into a way that makes sense for them. As we go along, we learn about different things. We learn how to deal with estates and trusts and retirement and uh, the different types of insurance, workers' comp, disability. So you're dealing with something different every day, you know, almost every hour. If you do auditing, you're working and you're looking at their financial statements, say their balance sheet and their income statement, and you're trying to verify the numbers and make sure that they're representing to their investors the right numbers. The CPA adds something similar to the good housekeeping seal of approval to those documents and says, well, these documents fairly present what happened or these documents don't fairly present what happened. So it's certainly less uh, boring than going through a spreadsheet or, or, or putting a set of financial statements together. So It's challenging and it's, uh, it goes uh, you know, far beyond just what they call crunching numbers. I don't know many accountants. Um, but the ones that I do know don't really like their lives. Um, like, everyone that I've talked to, like, hey, what's your major? Accounting. Why are you doing that? It pays well. Like, there's no, I don't know, there's just no joy in it. They just don't really seem happy, but maybe I just haven't met the right person. A lot of them might be boring, but a lot of them aren't boring. You know, just like any profession, you know, you know some people are boring and some people aren't. Well, when I think about an accountant, I immediately think of an older man who's balding with glasses with a big pot belly, with a pocket protector, um, and, and pretty boring. And when I met my accountant, I was, whoa, okay, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I love the outdoors. Uh, one of the reasons why I like living in central New York is because we're very close to a lot of lakes. Um, the Adirondacks, I love to spend time up there. Um, I, I like to hike, I like to canoe. Um, I like um, antique and classic cars, um, muscle cars, stuff like that. So I have a, um, a 72 Corvette that I spend a lot of time with. He's, he's young, he's dynamic, he's fun. Uh, he, we joke around, uh, he laughs at me, I laugh at him. Um, he keeps me out of jail, that's all I care about. I got two kayaks, I got a canoe, I got to play tennis one night a week. No matter what happens on Tuesday night, I play tennis. Sometimes the boys, uh, the, the tennis guys, we go out to Utah, we climb mountains out there. Hey, when, I, when I'm not uh, doing accounting, I'm up at the racetrack. I like to go uh, to watch auto racing and, uh, and uh, my uh, colleagues, they're, they're golfers and that. If I go to graduation, I don't wear the traditional attire at graduation. I have a top hat that I like to wear. I like to do things differently. I like to be on the edge of the envelope. 
So I enjoy playing soccer and running. I'm on the intramural soccer team here, like for co-ed men's for indoor and outdoor. And I also run, I ran in high school track, track and field. I actually did cross country here my uh, freshman year for the varsity team. Everyone's different, so I guess, you know, every every profession has a stereotype associated with it, but, you know, not all accountants are um, stuffy old ball guys with uh, register tape all around them. Really, they've kept me under control since being in college. I haven't had any uh, financial trouble or anything like that, so I have nothing to complain about. As far as professionally is concerned, it's just a lot of number crunching, and it's something that I'm not good at, so I'm pretty grateful that... Uh, and I know a couple of people who are, are good accountants, and they're fun guys, so uh, it's nice hanging out with them, too. I would owe hundreds of thousands of dollars to the IRS. Uh, she's a fun client to work with. Um, she's very passionate about what she does, which is always interesting. So, you know, you kind of get that vibe off of her that, you know, she's excited about what she does, so it makes my job a little easier. When you have a passion for a business, you do your passion and you leave the business end to the business people, like your accountant, like your attorney. If you have a passion for what you do, then a lot of times the, the, the profit and the money aspect of it follows sure. along from that. So you have to pay attention to it, but if you, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not passionate about it, you're most likely not going to be successful at it in the long run. So, uh, On my sabbatical leave, I want to go to Cuba because I figure if Jay-Z can go to Cuba, and that big basketball player can go to North Korea, I can go to Cuba even if it's illegal. So I don't care. Uh, I like traveling, which I haven't been able to do that much obviously with college, but I want to do a lot once I start saving up and get actually paid vacation time at an accounting firm or actually be able to travel through the firm, you know, and do work on different clients overseas and things like that. What brings the most fulfillment for me is to, to help small business people succeed and grow and, and do well. I mean, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of businesses that be considered mundane, but uh, I find this uh, business to be fascinating and, and it's ever-changing. Money!